Who are you? The micro HOA that introduces us to the deeper side of this week's Network Roundtable guests. This week, our plus one superhero is dun, 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 Kate Hanley. Yay! So, Kate, I have an important question for you. Okay. Who are you? Oh, my gosh. I am a helper of women. I, I help busy women slow down and hear what they really think. And that is basically at the heart of everything that I do. Why? Why? Because inauthenticity sucks. And I feel like when we're running around from thing to thing and we never have a chance to really check in with ourselves, we end up doing all this stuff. And at the end of the day, we're like, why? Why? What did I do? Why? And why? I've been there. So I'll ask you again. <laughs> why? Okay. Why? Why what? Why to your last answer? Um, why do we do stuff that we don't like to do? Yeah, really? or why does it, you know, that's authenticity suck, either one of those would be great. Right. Well, it's just, it takes a lot of energy to be fake. You know, it takes a lot of energy to do things that you don't really like to do. And the, what's the point? Honestly, what is the point of showing up and doing things that are just drain you? No. Why? Um, because there's just so much more available to us. I feel like we all have, I love that you guys call me a... Um, Superhero, I feel like we all have superpowers, and it's really easy to just ignore them and never use them, and when you do, it's like you're flying through your day instead of hauling yourself, <coughs> excuse me, I had to swallow, instead of hauling yourself around. <laughs> so if you haven't picked up, Kate's never seen the exercise before. Kate, we're about to do the whole thing again. All right. Oh, this is Who good. Are you? This is like Groundhog Day. Oh, I'm sorry. Pretty much. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Kate Hanley. I'm a coach and an author. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, because writing is part of my genius. I love connecting with other people, and I'm really passionate about helping other women figure out what their genius is and start to use it. Why? Because it feels so good when you do. And it's too easy to just not pay attention. Why? Because we have all these other things that we feel like we're supposed to be doing. Um, and it, date time goes fast. If you're not paying attention, it's like Ferris Bueller says, you could miss it. Thank you. And now, a word from our sponsor. Who Are You is brought to you by... The letter B and the word breathe. Oh, you are watching Who Are You? Live on the I Forgot My Lines, and they're right in front of me. Live on the Network Roundtable Small Business Happy Hour YouTube channel. Welcome back to the show. So, Kate, it was so much fun the first time around. We get to do it again. Who oh, are you? Hi, I'm Kate Hanley. I am a coach and an author, and I help busy women slow down and hear what they really think. Why? <laughs> you could answer a different who are you if you want, Kate. Oh, I could. I could just, like, assume a persona? No, there's different parts to us. That's the point of the exercise. Oh, I see. I just keep talking about the same thing again. Okay, 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 let's start again. Okay, so okay, Kate, okay, okay. who are you? I am a mom. I'm a really good cook. I am a mean karaoke singer. Why? <laughs> I know. There's something that happens when you put a microphone in my hand and, like, canned music. It's like my personality totally changes. Maybe I should have brought my own little, like, handheld mic. Then we, then we would have gotten some interesting stuff. Yeah, we'll have some music ready for you on Friday, just saying. Yep. Awesome. All right, great. Okay. <laughs> so why 
And I want to know specifically why are you a mean karaoke singer other than because of the mic? Hmm. Um, yeah, God, I just, I'm not really a, um, a, a look at me kind of a person in real life. And there's something about karaoke where there's just this tacit ag agreement where I'm going to go up there and you guys are going to watch me do my thing and I'm going to like put my heart and soul into it. And then I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to sing for somebody else. Like, I, I think it's a beautiful thing. And why do you think it's a beautiful thing? Um, yeah, I guess it's about like just really finding and sharing your voice. It's beautiful, not beautiful, <laughs> on key, off key. It really doesn't matter. It's all good in the karaoke world. And if you can't sing well, sing loud. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Yes. So, Kate. Who are you? Yes, I am. Um, I am a yogi. I've been practicing yoga for 16, 16 years. Crazy, right? That is I'm crazy. Scared. Why? Like, real? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Why would you? I'm sorry. Do that? <laughs> Why? Um. <laughs> had a relationship that lasted that long with anything so the reason that I keep doing it is because it always helps me hear what I really think I mean it also helps me do things like sleep and poop and touch my toes but honestly the reason that I do it is that afterwards I'm always like oh yeah right that's what really matters always have some kind of an insight why um, yeah, because you can't really run. You just cannot run when you're on the mat. You have got to sit there and, uh, like the dude in the Big Lebowski, you've got to abide and just hang out <laughs> and be with whatever comes up. And, um, you know, we spend a lot of energy, I feel like, running around, trying not to feel the way that we feel. And if we could just feel the way that we feel, then we would, like, free ourselves of all this extra energy and then we would just, like, know what matters. Okay, that's actually really cool for this week's subject of breathe, but I'm going to ask you one last time. Okay. Why? Um, yeah. Um, why? Why? Why is it important to just be with where we are and feel how we feel? Um, God. See, this would be great if I could tie it all together with some like song lyrics, right? With the whole like karaoke reference. Um, <laughs> how about wait? Here I go again. Yeah. Oh yeah, here I go again. Every rose has its thorn. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I, I, before we get back on script, I'm going to jump off script for a second because when I asked the first why to the first yogi thing. I was hoping you'd answer, and anyone who knows me will know this is totally my sense of humor, why to the it helps you poop. Oh, why it helps you poop? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> it massages your internal organs. It's just like a, yeah. It's, um, my husband, when I was pregnant, I, I was really on, on task with my yoga every day, and to the point where you know, you're always talking about all kinds of crazy stuff when you're pregnant. My husband started calling it Puga because I was like, listen, I can't, no, I'm sorry, I can't help you right now. I've got to do my yoga so that I poop. Okay, anybody who's been pregnant is like totally like, yes. they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I am clueless. <laughs> all, all I can say is I admire you, Kate, for being able to say it out loud. Because lots <laughs> of us feel it, but we can't say it out loud. <laughs> I know. Sorry, I also yeah. have a four-year-old and a six-year-old, and we saw I spend a lot of time talking about poop, so it's just like all in a day's work. There you go. <laughs> Sorry for taking us off script there, Stephanie. Back to you. No worries. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say thank you again, Kate, for sharing that with us, and we will see everybody on Friday as we talk about... Breathe on the Network Roundtable. Your Small Biz Happy Hour. Everybody say goodbye. Oh, and watch the notifications this week. We will be letting you know who Kate's plus one sidekick will be. 
Bye.